lemon and sassy ginger oil. So this is the metabolic blend. And um, this class is all about yoga for momentum. So really the inspiration behind the class is, you know, we're now sort of moving to springtime. We're obviously well after the new year. And um, it's really about just building momentum on your New Year's resolutions, building momentum towards your goals, your intentions, whatever it is that you're looking for. So this could be um, personal goals that you have, this could be relationship goals that you have, this could be, um, it could be you know, work goals that you have, anything like that. Um, so I really want you to just be open to anything that you're making progress for in your life and just be open to any forward motion that needs to happen, okay? So just be open to anything that comes to you. You might have certain um, inspirations that come to you in this class or just even certain actions that need to happen. So again, just be open to that. So Slim and Sassy, you guys, this is a awesome blend. I'm going to smell it here. Um, it's an awesome blend because it's really just a simple blend and yet it still has this very profound effect on the body. Um, and really the mind, body, and spirit. So this is going to affect you physical, mental, social, spiritual, emotional, which is my fave, right? So the whole beauty, the whole being. Um, so this has in here cinnamon bark, okay? So cinnamon bark oil, that helps to boost the metabolism. It also has peppermint oil. So if you think yoga for momentum, that's going to be that mental focus. So keeping you focused, um, really moving towards that goal or towards that intention. But it has the nice added advantage of peppermint really helps to suppress the appetite. So for weight loss, if that happens to be one of your physical goals, okay? So for physical beauty. Um, we also have in here um, grapefruit. So grapefruit's really, really good for goals. Um, grapefruit oil, any citrus oil is going to be great for lifting the mood. And it also acts as a natural stringent for the body. It also helps to detox the organs. And just overall, give us that energy. So citrus gives us energy to move towards those goals so that we don't have fatigue. Okay, it kind of keeps fatigue at bay, which is nice. Um, last one that it has in here, let's see here. We have actually two more. We have a lemon. So just like a grapefruit, it's going to help to boost the metabolism, act as an astringent for the body as far as detoxing, helping to aid digestion, things like that. Um, helps to brighten the skin. That's always great. And then um, ginger root is one that they added to this. And ginger root's really good for just proper digestive tract. If you ever have any kind of digestive issues, ginger's really, really good. So all together, Slim and Sassy or the Metabolic Blend, awesome to move towards your goals on a, not only physical level, but also mental. So just like you saw here, um, it can be pretty strong. I normally really do two drops here. And we're gonna put it on our wrists, okay? And then you can go ahead and just blend it <laughs> You're gonna duplicate, right? <laughs> we're, <gonna do> <laughs> so, <laughs> we're getting more behind the scenes, and actually, that is one thing. Thank you for reminding me that. Way. One thing that I want to mention is um, when it comes to ingesting the oils, you guys. So I did ingest um, Slim and Sassy when I lost weight. I lost 40 pounds after having my daughter. We were actually just talking about that here. And um, you know, one thing that's um, interesting about Slim and Sassy is the rule of thumb for most of the oils is you're usually ingesting like one to three drops. Slim and Sassy, you can actually ingest like up to like 25 drops. You can actually even do more if you want to. Um, but really, if you're wanting like very serious rapid weight loss, but in a healthy way, they really say like 15 to 25 drops a day. So as always, reach out to me for a wellness consult. I can give you a lot more details on the weight loss plan with Slim and Sassy if you're interested in that, okay? Be sure to like the page, all that jazz for more videos like this. So we're gonna have the right foot in front, you guys. And I just want you to think about, really brainstorm here as you start to close your eyes, just start to move the head left and right. And then just start to be a little bit more present, just start to tilt the tailbone. So we're gonna kind of do a tilt, and at the same time we're gonna start to just move the belly forward. So we're kind of rocking back and forth. This is the root chakra. So think of Slim and Sassy, we're actually helping with our sense of stability, okay, our health. So we're starting to move this way. I think of almost cat cow, okay? So we have our hands on our, on our knees here. And just close the eyes. It's almost like I do like pregnancy exercises here. <laughs> You're kind of moving back and forth. And really try to challenge yourself here. Try to hold the belly button to the spine, okay? This is going to work the abdominal muscles. And start to bring in your jive breath when you're ready. So really release the back, beautiful. And just start to speed it up just a little bit here, creating a little bit of heat in the body. Moving with the music. 
and then slowly start to reach behind us. We're going to see if we can intertwine our fingers. If you want, you grab your opposite wrist here or elbow. Okay, whatever works. And we're just going to reach back, just lifting up through the hands, through the elbows, opening through the heart. Deep inhale. Just see if you can relax as you exhale. So if you have your fingers intertwined like me, we're just going to start to move our wrists all the way down. So we have a little bit of an anchor here, okay? And then just start to kind of move back just a little bit. And lift the chin, stretching all through the biceps. So if you were in Tuesday's class and so you took that one at home, this is going to be really good just for stretching all through the heart, the arms, the hips slightly. And just allow this time to reflect here. So reflect on any forward motion that you're making. So again, any intention that you're moving towards, any goal that you're seeing progress. Okay, so lifting the chin. Yoga for momentum. So trying to build that momentum here as we lift the chin, lift the heart a little bit more. So to straighten the elbows as much as you can. Very nice. We want to feel that nice stretch kind of all through here, through the bicep area, okay? All through the arms, even the triceps a little bit. And just let yourself reflect here. We were just talking about before class, it's important to kind of recognize and celebrate certain milestones. So whatever your milestone is, even if it's a little bit of weight loss or whatever your goal is, make sure you really take time to celebrate that. That's important to absorb it. So we're going to start to bring our feet together. So we have root chakras in our feet as well. Okay, so the feet come together, all together here. We're going to place our hands. It could be on the ankles here, around, kind of like grabbing onto the arch area. It's sort of a soft area there. It feels good. And then slowly, see if you can mirror your forearms right over kind of where the calf area is or the shin. And then just slowly start to press forward. So we're moving our nose towards our heels, okay? So opening all through our hip. Again, slim and sassy, our foundation to who we are. Our self-confidence, our health, shoulders back. This is also our abundance, our family life. Deep exhale, shoulders continue to move to the back of the room. And if you do have the oils on your wrists, you might be able to smell them a little bit here, that peppermint, so deep inhale. So you're just stimulating the mind, stimulating the spirit, shoulders back. So see if you can soften the hips a little bit here. There's usually a point where the hips are kind of hanging on because they want to stay a little bit tight. See if you can just soften just a little bit. Uh -huh. If you want to rock left or right, that's just fine. Whatever feels good. See if you can kind of even move your hips kind of left and right. So if you look up at me here, I'm kind of just moving my hips a little bit. We're kind of easing them open, okay, without shocking them, especially if one's a little bit tight. So just reflect here, whichever hip feels a little bit tighter than the other. So where can you kind of open up in the foundation to who you are? In your health? In your abundance? In your close relationships or your family life? So just a quick reminder, the left hip, if that's the one that's a little tight for you, that's your right brain. So that could be your creativity, that could be your fulfillment, maybe a certain outlet that you have, a creative outlet, or a relationship of some sort. If it's that right hip for you, that's going to be your sense of control or that chronological thinking, okay? So think of like um, keeping things in order, okay, or orderly thoughts. So just be open, exhale, try to release that hip a little bit more. If it's both that are tight, just be aware. Shoulders move further back. This is prepping us for one of our postures here. So we're going to slowly start to move the forehead a little closer towards the heels. And just start to let go here. So just take a moment here for gratitude. We're going to use our abdominal muscles here. So what we're going to do is take our hands, okay, prayer position, Place them in front of the heart and just start to bow forward, try to move the shoulders still from the back of the room or kind of towards even the ceiling a little bit here. And just take a moment here for gratitude for any momentum or any really progress that you've seen towards this intention. And just remember to find your focus if the mind's kind of a little scattered here. Just 
Gently remind yourself to be back in the moment, so tilt the tailbone just a little. This will open the hips just a little bit more. And start with universe, God, higher self. Again, fill in the blink there. I'm so happy and grateful for. Beautiful, you guys. We're going to slowly do a little twist here. So we're going to take our left hand, kind of just place it. If you want to, you could start kind of a step one, would be placing your left hand on your right shin, okay? Or what you can do is start to move. You're starting to move to have that left hand facing up towards the sky, okay? We want to create openness here. And we're creating a little bit of a twist here. So this is also prepping us for a posture. So we're starting to reach up towards the stars. Deep inhale, try to relax the hips as you exhale. So I was talking about that grapefruit oil, the lemon oil acting as astringent for the body. So here we're doing the same thing. We're basically kind of detoxing the body here. We're going to slowly exhale. Go ahead and bring the hands together, okay? And we're going to inhale opposite sides. So placing that right hand over and then reaching up towards the stars. Beautiful, you guys. We're going to slowly bring our hand down, okay? We're going to slowly come up, and here, if those feet are falling asleep a little bit, you can wiggle the toes, okay? We have the thumbs to the very edge of the mat, and we're going to just start to lift the hips up here. Just make sure we have some circulation going through the legs. Just kind of move the hand, or the feet back, rather, right underneath the knees, okay? So lifting up, stretching up, really focusing here again on the biceps. So we're really starting to lift and straighten the elbows, lifting up towards the sky, Remember of the knee or the knees, you want to be really mindful. Sometimes the knees will come together here. We want to try to keep them as wide as the hips, okay? So lift the chin and exhale. Slowly lower down. We're going to move right onto our knees here and then right away to downward facing it off. So we're going to a little bit more energy here, a little bit more momentum. Start to walk it out. Come up on the tippy toes, stretch back, and right away, I want to see if you can either walk, step, or jump, okay, to the front of the mat into half forward fold. So half forward fold, we're gazing between the heels, shoulders are back, and exhale all the way down. So you might be a little tight from Tuesday's class if you were in that class. I know that that was going to be intense for sure for the body, so just be open if the body is really tight here at all. Push it just slightly, but not overly so. We want to be patient with the body. So be aware of the feet. I can see my right foot's a little in front, so I want to bring that back just so it's a little more even. This is going to really support the hips and the knees. Micro bend in the knees, shoulders back, and inhale. So very slowly, we actually stop here. We're kind of flying a little bit. And just slowly start to move to the right. So just allowing that freedom. So enjoying the view here, okay? So again, the fruits of our labor or celebrations for anything. If you have weight loss goals or whatever your goals are in your life, career goals, allow yourself to enjoy the journey here. You gotta really remind yourself of that. Okay, so back and forth. This is great too if you're creating heat. It's gonna air the body out a little bit here, cool the body down. By the way, this is great if you work in an office or go to school, sit at a desk, really good for the low back. All right, so moving forward, and then we're going to slowly start to come up, okay? It's so coming all the way up. So even if you're coming up, we're twisting. We still want to have that detox that's happening, okay? And then we're trying to reach towards the stars. So reaching up and inhale, lift. So really straighten the arms. Usually have you just have the shoulders down the back. You want to reach up towards the stars, tilt the tailbone. And exhale, bring that energy down in front of the heart. Beautiful, you guys. Start to widen the toes. You notice how I'm wiggling my toes? We're rooting ourselves down. We're lifting the elbows up. Little micro bend here in the knees, okay? And we're going to slowly inhale, full sun salutation. Lift as we inhale. And exhale, all the way down, shoulders back. Inhale, half lift, gaze between those heels. Exhale, all the way back. So here, see if you can bring your left hand, okay, to the center. So as you bring your left hand to the center, I want you to kind of plank this a little bit. Bring your right hand, so we are up on our fingertips here, okay, working those arm muscles here, that's what we want. 
So we're bringing our right hand up a little bit, heel in the back of the mat, and just see, you can bring that left hand back a little bit, see if you can lift up to touch the belly, just for a second. Great job. Heels to the back of the mat, lower down, so now the opposite side, engage the core here, okay? So we have the left fingertips, okay? Heels to the back of the mat, touch your belly, head do a little bit longer, great, heels back to the mat, you got this. Lower down, lift up, and exhale. Wide hands, you're doing great, I know. We're gonna lower down, doing awesome. And pause, this is that celebration, relax. Hands are outside the chest. And inhale, lift, toes together, heels apart. And exhale, lower down. So really use your arm muscles here. Elbows are nice and tight, guys. And then press all the way up. Full plank, downward facing dog. Sink into the shoulders here. And inhale, if you can, we're gonna really aim to jump here, but if not, that's just fine. Walk, step, or jump. So I'm gonna teach you guys really quick how to jump if you've never done it before. So I don't wanna assume that. So really, here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your pinkies to the edge of the mat. We're gonna to gaze to where you wanna land. So think of your focus in life, right? Where you wanna land that intention. So find your focus, and I gaze right between, kind of right between my wrists, okay? Find my focus there. Knees come pretty low towards the mat. A lot of people, what I really find that, that they struggle a bit most with here, their knees are up really high, okay? So bring your knees down, gaze at your dressy, shoulders back, see exactly where you wanna land, have that intention, and inhale, set to lift, and hop forward. Very nice. We're gonna slowly move into half forward fold, shoulders back, and exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Beautiful, so the body's definitely warmed up here. So to just fly a little bit here. Celebrate. Start to let go, you guys are doing awesome. It's like a dance here, just kinda chill out. Just let go, release any stress. And slowly start to come up. Remember, reach towards the stars here, reach, 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 reach. As high as you can, at the same time, we're widening the toes, okay? Reaching towards the stars. And exhale, slowly close your eyes. So now we have that energy that we want. Tilt the tailbone, notice the subtle energies in the body. So tilting the tailbone, a little micro bend in the knees. <coughs> Having the hands in front of the heart, so just make sure those hands are not touching. So set your intention here. Define your intention with the words, I want. So universe, God, higher self, please, I want. But whatever the next step is towards that goal or that intention. Be very specific. So the more specific, the better here, okay? So the more specific, the better. And we're going to slowly start to open up our eyes. Okay, so we're going to start to open up through the hip a little bit here. So we're bringing that left foot in just a little bit. We're going to start to just create a little micro bend. Just make sure you don't get dizzy or anything like that here, guys. So feel really stable now that our eyes are open, okay? So we're going to start with a tree in Tuesday's class, right? So we have a little bit more balancing posture. We're going to start to move into a little bit of balance. So just start to think of tree. It doesn't really matter where that foot goes. It kind of lands on top of the foot, okay? So the right foot on top of the left. I'm actually going to face you guys. It'll be a little easier. So here, okay? So what we're moving towards, you're going to slide it up your shin, okay? Beautiful. And what we want to start to do is keep your focus. So this is that forward motion, that momentum, okay? So this is kind of like a tree, right? But what we're starting to do is see if you can crisscross, almost like you're sitting in, you know, sitting ladylike in a chair, right? So here, we're crisscrossing as much as we can, so kind of just outside the knee, and see how that feels. See if you can bring the hands together. 
Deep inhale. Try flexing the foot. Widening the standing toes. Very nice. So, if you're feeling pretty good here, you guys all look awesome. So what we're going to start to do is see if you can kind of take your left hand, okay? It does not have to reach. That's okay. Listen to your body. And then we're starting to bring the knee down towards the ground, okay? So towards the mat. We're opening through the hips. So again, think about slim sassy, the root chakra we're opening up there. So really expanding our horizons. This is really good for abundance. Um, and remember, this is abundance on all levels. This can be money. So bringing more money into your life this can bring abundance as in health, vitality, relationships, love. So start to bend the standing knee. And we're going to slowly start to bend as much as we can here. Hands are wide here. So we have that space between the hands. Lifting the elbows. The challenge here is then start to straight a little bit. There you go. You guys are doing great. And the knees towards... We're moving that right knee kind of towards the mat, okay? Then bend the knee and just pause. Keep that focus. Keep flexing that right foot. Very slowly start to come undone. Nice and graceful. Beautiful, you guys. Very nice. That left foot might cramp up. That's a very, very common, so I would highly suggest you shake it out. Um, it's usually not as much here in the hip like it is in tree. It's more the, the foot cramps up, right? So we're going to do the opposite side here. So again, I'll be facing you for this. So what we're going to do is start with the little micro of the knees, okay? Cross over. So remember, we're kind of moving toward that ladylike feel. So kind of crossing over. Take your time. If you decide to go all the way here, so we're kind of outside the knee, we're flexing the foot, we're opening through the hip, and that left knee is going towards the ground, okay? Hands to heart center, bending the knee, and then try to straighten as much as you can again as you move the knee towards the ground. Okay, so if you really want to tighten this up a little bit, you can lift the elbows so they're parallel to the ground. Beautiful. Shoulders back. And we're going to bend that knee again. So opening up a little bit through the glute. So really helping with our focus. Think peppermint oil. That helps with our focus, our cognitive function. So nice and graceful. You got this. Oh, nice, you guys. Very, very nice. And then we're going to basically land where we're in Tadasana. Okay, so we're in mountain posture here. We just have the feet together. Excellent. So here we're at the front of the mat. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just kind of again, if you need to shake it out or anything like that, you know, definitely listen to your body, especially if joints ever call out. You always want to release that if there's any joint pain, okay? And put on deep blue for sure after. Deep blue rub. So here what you want to do, okay, so we're going to take, let's see here, so it's the opposite. So we want to take our right foot out, okay? See if you can bend your knee a little bit. We're going to start with our knee here, okay? We're going to start to move towards our toes. We're taking our left hand and grabbing onto our right knee, okay? It's another inner balance here. All right, so once you're here, we're gonna start to reach our hand. This is ours, so notice how we're twisting here, we're detoxing. We're reaching our right hand to the back of the room, and we're flexing, this is the right foot. Okay, or whatever foot you have lifted, that's fine. Deep inhale, notice how open we're being here, okay? Really open, really real, really vulnerable. That's really important as we start to move towards our intentions. We're really being open to where we're headed. So if you want to take this a little deeper, you can grab onto the shin. Full expression, you start to grab onto the toe, okay? So I like to call this your peace sign fingers, okay? You're taking your peace sign fingers, you're grabbing onto that big toe. You gotta have your focus here, okay? So keep your focus. Start to straighten the leg, and we're twisting just slightly here, okay? It's doing excellent. Listen to your body. I love that you guys are listening. Ooh. Gotta have your focus. Exhale as graceful as you can. Okay, if you fall out of it a little bit, that one's hard, okay? They're both actually quite hard. Okay, so really listen to your body there. Okay, we're going to release this. We're going to feel this more in the hips. Okay, so I want to be really conscious of the body tonight. So we're just kind of taking it slow, but keeping it also intense at the same time. So here, that's really good for strength training. It also boosts the metabolism. 
Okay, so opposite side here. So now we want to have the left leg out. Okay, straighten the leg. Actually, excuse me, let's start with the knee. Really start with step one, two, and then we'll move into three. So reaching back behind us. Make sure you have your focus. Flexing that step, foot that's up in the air. There you go, nice. All right, so once you're here, see if you want to maybe grab onto the shin. Oh, listen to your body, let it fall out of it. That's okay. Happens to the best of us, so don't even worry about that, okay? Find your focus. Peace sign fingers, grab your big toe if you want. And then we're trying to move that shoulder, that left shoulder back in space. Great breathing, you guys. Beautiful, you guys. Really incredible focus tonight. Wow. So we're going to slowly start to just move forward, release the back, staying in this nice state. This is what we want, releasing the day. All right, so momentum here. We're gonna to start to come up one vertebrae at a time. Take your time here. We're gonna move into warrior three, okay? So we did warrior three in the other class. This is important, we're moving towards forward motions. That also means repetition sometimes. You know, even if the body's like, meh, nah, sometimes we have to go through those motions for progress, okay? So left foot forward. Then we're having that right foot back, like an anchor. Excellent. And then reach forward here, shoulders back, really important. So the shoulders come forward, so to move those back a little bit, okay? We have that energy between the hands. So think here of your intention. Start to lift off. If you need to bring that foot back down, that's just fine. And forward motion, hips are square to the ground. And just pause, deep breath. We're flexing the left foot, or excuse me, the right foot. So this can be challenging to try to imagine your intention. You got this. Slowly start to come out. Very nice. That ankle. Okay. Not only your ankle, it's more your arch is going to call out. So shake it out, baby. Doing great. All right. So the right foot in the center. Okay, slowly anchor, that's that left foot. Reach forward, shoulders back, and lift off. Trust yourself, leading with your intuition. Square the hips, and imagine. Go for it, and we fall out, ta-da, that's okay. Okay, you can go right back into it. If you do fall out of it like I just did, try to end really strong, okay? So go back into it if you can. Really feel good about where you're headed. Find your focus. Shoulders back. And then slowly set them up. Great job. Very nice. And then slowly again, remember to shake it out, okay? I want you just to close your eyes. Just notice how the body feels here. Shake out the hands. You can move the neck back and forth. Release any tension in the body. Okay, so here we're going to stand at the front of the mat. And we're just going to kind of jump a few times here. Just creating energy in the body. Don't really do stuff like this. Maybe when you're a kid and you're jumping on your trampoline, right? So jump up and down. Start to energize, build momentum, build energy, build excitement, enthusiasm, okay? This moves us towards our goals, it catapults us. So follow your enthusiasm here. And pause. Slowly exhale, we're going to bend the knees. And just allow your mind just to relax. So as you bend your knees, we do want to make sure we have the heels kind of below the knees. And just relax here, bring the chin towards the sternum. All I want you to be mindful here, you guys, is align the chakras. So just kind of, as you lower the chin down, just really try to have that root chakra. Notice how it's naturally tilted here, okay? So we naturally have that alignment. 
And then you start to exhale. You can grab onto your hand, your opposite wrist, whatever feels good. Beautiful. And we're going to allow ourselves to completely let go of Shavasana as we start to sit all the way back. So I want you to really choose what feels good. You can try having the feet touching here, the heels touching. And exhale, so that can be really nice here because it's your root chakra, okay, in the feet. If it feels a lot better for you just to completely be kind of sprawled out here, that's fine. Just remember your hands or palms facing up regardless. So I want you to be really open to any action that needs to come your way, any action that you need to take. So you can even just ask, what action do I need to take to make forward motion, make momentum towards this intention or towards this goal? Allow things to come to you as you're making progress towards these different intentions, as you're making more momentum, just really allow yourself to realize the importance of defining what you want, defining where you're headed, defining that next step, and then just really learn the value of just, once you define that detail, just let that go, just release, and just allow things to come to you. As you start to come back from your meditation, slowly start to wiggle the fingers and the toes. And to keep that energy in the body, right away we're going to start to reach the arms up, point the toes, allow that energy to move. Make sure nothing stays stagnant. And just start to imagine the white light, pure energy moving through the body, through the wrists, through the hips, and roll onto your right arm, onto your right side when you're ready. And we're going to place our left hand just on our heart. And just give gratitude for anything in your life, any support system that's allowed you to make progress towards your goals.
Beautiful. On your next inhale, slowly press yourself back up to comfortable seated position. Left foot is in front. And we're going to bring our hands to heart center. But just allow that space, that energy between the hands. Make sure those elbows are lifted. Keep that energy, that kind of nice zen energy, but forward motion energy in the body. Deep, slow inhale, filling up the lungs as full as you can. And deep, slow exhale, nice and balanced. Beautiful. I am truly so happy and grateful. You could all be here this evening to connect to your inner intention, where you're headed, defining your intention, and moving towards it with fearless confidence and momentum. The divine in me recognizes the divine and light in each one of you. And where these lights meet, we say, Namaste. Namaste. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today's true beauty quick tip. If you like what you see and for more confidence building tips on how to be a beauty from the inside out, remember to subscribe to our channel and connect with us at truebeautymovement.com. That's T-R-U without the E, beauty movement. Love you guys. Until next time, remember, be balanced, be true, and proud to be you.